Happy Saturday, everyone. What we have for you guys today is a cool little two rounder. It's going to have a little interference from yesterday's work set, but it's two rounds, it's quick, it's going to be a lot of fun. So, quick little heads up on our warm up today. We have an inch worm knee to nose for three to five, forearm plank to dolphin for three to five reps, sumo squat for three at a three, 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 air squat for three at a three, 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 and a narrow squat for three at, you can probably guess it, three, three, three tempo. Two rounds of that, I'm gonna take that down, working through that squat mechanic work, just getting your squats really ready to go. And then we're gonna move down into a little bit of upper body love. So we're gonna work a four facing angel hold of three at five second holds into our humeral glide to two inch knee plank for three at a five second hold in that plank. Finishing off some laying arm extensions for five to 10 for two rounds. And if you'd like to load that, you're more than welcome to with some light, light loading. Once we're done that, we're gonna work on some skill work. We're gonna work our squat drop to jump squat for three to five, burpee breakdown for three to five, and then we're gonna work on our jumping jack for 20 seconds or ankle pop for 20 seconds. We're gonna hit that up for two rounds, working through that, and then we're gonna tackle the work set. We're gonna have some fun with this one. It's quick. It's gonna be uh, kind of a sprinter, but you have to pace that first round a little bit so you can still push through that second. What we have is two rounds of 40 jump squats. Then you're gonna move into 20 burpees, and then you're done. Two rounds, bam, bam, finished. Woo! Call it a day. All right, let's get you warmed up. Let's have some fun today. All right, let's get those feet under those hips. Let's warm you guys up a little bit. We'll take the arms up big and tall, big stretch. We're gonna reach over to one side, come back up and over to the other side. Take a big old stretch overhead, shrug. Come back down with the shoulders, bring both hands down behind the neck, ribs in, reach the elbow, hand down, elbow, hand down, elbow, down, one more time, elbow, and down, big stretch, we're going to reach, and reach, yeah. come back up, put those arms to a T, we'll turn them in, turn them out, turn them in, turn them out, and turn them in, and out, big stretch, one more reach, Reach over to the side and take it all the way to the floor. Touch those toes. We'll walk up the shins. We'll come down, frame a foot, step back into that lunge. And we get the strong leg position. Take the inside hand all the way up. We're going to rotate forearm to the floor. We'll come back up, big stretch. And rotate forearm to the floor. Back up, big stretch. And rotate. And back up. Planting that hand, we'll take the other hand up to the sky, big reach, come back down, step back into your down dog, reaching those hips, and head back into that lovely lunge on the other side. You're nice and square, inside hand's gonna reach, we'll rotate, forearm to the floor, we'll come back up, rotate, forearm to the floor, big stretch up, and rotate, forearm to the floor, big stretch, Plant the hand, outside hand, big reach. And come back down and step back into that down dog. Reaching those hips, we'll come back into our plank. Nice and tight and strong, tiptoes, feet up. We'll roll ourselves up, big tall stretch overhead. Big reach, oh, big reach. Oh, come back down with those hands. Let's get you guys fired up. All right, so let's pause the video if you'd like to do some more gentle kind of warm up. A um, little bit, bit of cat-cow curl, thread the needle, anything that you need to do to take down and get that body ready to go for what's to come. Especially showing some of those parts of the body that might be a little extra tender from yesterday. You know, those sit-ups, maybe some cat-cows as well. Pause it, rock it, come back and join me. We're going to take down this first piece of our warm-up. The first piece of our warm-up today is going to be inchworm knee to nose. So I'm going to turn profile to camera so you guys can see from the side. I'm gonna stand up nice and tall. I'm gonna hinge, trying to keep a little bit of tension on those hamstrings so I can stretch them out. I'm gonna walk my hands out into my plank. And then from here, pulling my ribs in, shoulders come up, I'm gonna pull my knee to my nose. And then I'm gonna pull my knee to my nose. And I'm gonna set that plank and walk my hands back in, all the way up, nice and tall. Big stretch overhead if you like, or not. I like to give myself that big stretch that just stretches the arms out a little bit, finishes that tall position, and come back down. So with that, we wanna make sure that we're establishing that good plank first before we start bringing the knees to the noses. I like giving myself a little pause in that point of compression.
compression. So if you'd like to, please do so as well. You don't have to overkill the pause. Just a couple of seconds is perfectly fine. From there, though, we're going to drop down to our forearms. We're going to play around with forearms like the dolphin. So I get myself set up in my cat, or sorry, my uh, tabletop. I'm going to lower my forearms down to the floor so the elbows stack under the shoulder. I'm going to press into the ground. I'm going to get set up in that nice forearm plank, pulling the ribs in, pressing the shoulders up. Now, keeping those armpits pointing towards my thighs, I'm going to walk my feet in a bit as I push those hips up, softening my knees and ankles, and pressing those armpits towards my thighs. They might not move very far, and that's okay. We're just really focusing on opening up those shoulders, those lats as best we can, and then come back into our plank from there. So again, you watch me kind of walk my feet a little closer. As I pull my hips up, that's totally fine. And then coming back into that plank, I kind of pull everything back in, settling into that position before I move back into that nice little dolphin. Dolphin is a very stressful position on the lats and the triceps. So don't worry if you can't quite get that same kind of height and feel as you normally can in down dog. You can put a little more pressure on those triceps. Ease slowly, build slow, hold each position for a couple seconds, perfect. Once we're done those forearm plank to dolphins, we're gonna come into our sumo stance. We're gonna come into our sumo squat. It's a little wider than normal. We're gonna push those knees out just a little bit more. So you're gonna do one facing the camera and one to the side. So what we wanna think about, normal squat mechanics, hips going towards the heels, really hard press out of those knees. I pull the hips down, press the knees out. I'm staying as upright as I can and then I'm gonna stand nice and tall. I have that nice slow tempo, three, three, three tempo. So I'm really taking the time to kind of feel that descend in the squat, the hold in the bottom nice and active, and then that nice slow stand up as we really work on nice flat position, knees pressing out. Once we're done those three, we're gonna come into our regular stance and work on our regular squat. So our regular air squat, feet, hips to shoulders, Toes slightly out, I'm still gonna take those hips to my heels, knees kind of trapped in the toes, and my chest is staying as upright as I can as I stand up nice and tall. So again, taking that body down, using the hip to heel, standing tall. Now my narrow stance, now that's gonna depend on you. It's gonna be anything inside that regular squat stance. And that can change daily, hourly, right, weekly. So please keep that in mind that just because you hit Maybe this stance once or twice last couple days, you might find that you're a little stiffer today and you need to give yourself a little wider stance to experience a good position. So what we want to think about again is those same focal points, pulling the hips down to the heels, chest is nice and tall, nice solid knee track in the toe, and then stand tall with that nice three, three, three tempo. Take the time, I find that squat is very challenging because it hits my shins and ankles really hard. That's what I need to work on myself personally. So you may notice that you might be a little tighter in certain spots in that narrow squat than others. Explore those places. Warm them up, weight them up, see where they take you. Quick recap, we have two rounds. Inchworm knee to nose for three to five. Forearm plank to dolphin for three to five. Sumo squat, air squat, and narrow squat. Three of each at a three, three, three tempo. Take your time, warm those squats up. We're gonna get you guys ready for today. All right, our next phase is gonna focus primarily on the upper body, a little bit more on the core. We're gonna be going basically everything's on the floor. So I'm gonna get myself on the floor, laying on my stomach. My hands are gonna be just outside my shoulders, and my hands are gonna be by my chest. My elbow is stacked over top of my wrist. I'm gonna pull my ribs in, I'm gonna set my body position, and I'm gonna pull my shoulders together, lifting my hands up off the floor, holding for three to five seconds, and then lower down. I can disengage and get my body kind of relaxed again. And then before I go, I want to re-engage that hip position, that shoulder position, and then squeeze and hold as I lift those elbows straight up from the floor. Very challenging. So if you find that you have a hard time um, pulling those fingers off the floor and they're just like, oh, they can still touch the ground. That's okay. All right, just keep pulling back those shoulders. Try not to contort the body to make the hands come higher. After that, we're gonna move into our humeral glide to two inch plank. It's been a little while since we've done this one. So hands again in the bottom of the push-up position, wrist under the elbow. 
We're gonna get that humeral glide, so we're gonna pull the shoulders forward. We're gonna pull the shoulders back, setting them. We're gonna pull the ribs and hips in, and then we're gonna press an inch or two off the floor, maintaining that position and really holding that shoulder position the entire time. Then we lower and we relax, and we get ready to do it again. So if you can't quite hold two inches and you're like, I can't get off the floor, that's okay. Shoulders forward, shoulders back, ribs, hips. We press and we hold that nice tight body position and then we relax. So we're gonna hold that isometric press for about three to five seconds, maintaining our body position and our core position. That is gonna help build some serious core strength and position for the shoulders to start building into that press just a little bit more. Our last one is gonna feel nice, it's gonna help stretch out that pec a little bit. If you'd like to load this, you can. I'm gonna take my hands from this push position, down the side of my hips, palms are up, ribs are in, pulling the shoulders back, I'm gonna lift my hands up and hold for a couple seconds, and lower down. Maintaining that hollow, lift, and down. Lift, and down. So we're gonna work on that nice extension, pressing those arms back straight, and working on keeping that shoulder back and set. Now, if you'd like to load that, like I mentioned earlier, please keep it light, light, all right? No more than five pounds at the very most, all right? Cans of soup, tomatoes, little water bottles, whatever you have, but really light, make sure you're focusing on position over loading. Now, we have two rounds of that piece, floor-facing angel hold for three to five seconds, humeral glide to two-inch knee plank or isometric press, laying arm extension for five to 10 for two rounds, Take it down, warm that body up, get things fired up and set up. We're going to move into a little bit more dynamic work that's more similar to our work set. All right, come here. What we got for you guys, we got a squat drop to jump squats. We're going to combine two cool drills. That's going to be a little like, oh, what's going on here? But we have two variations. So I'm going to show you as is the squat drop to jump squat. So my feet are going to be set up in my hip width stance. I'm going to stand, set, and ready, at the ready, waiting for you to hear my voice say, go! Right? When you hear that, you are going to pull yourself to the bottom of the squat, and then you're going to stand tall. So that's the squat drop. Now for the squat drop, if you're like, ah, finding my footwork is a little tough, and I don't quite land right if I try and find my feet, what you can work on is already setting yourself up in your squat stance. So you're already ready in the squat stance, standing tall, setting position, and then you hear my voice in your mind go, go, and then you're going to pull yourself into that good squat position and stand. So that's the squat drop portion. Either one of those options is going to teach you a ton about footwork, decelerating in that squat after a nice fast pull under, so it's going to give you a lot of insight into that squat. Now the jump squat, we have three variations of jump squat. We have the air squat, we have the non-jumping jump squat, so we pull down, push, push, so we come up off the ground and then pull ourselves back down, and then we have our full jump squat, so we actually leave the ground, and then stand tall. Now, we can mix and match and pair this with that drop squat to whatever level you're at and wherever you feel most comfortable. So joining the two things together now, what we're looking at, so full on, Drop squat to jump squat. Nice and tall, nice and set. I pull and jump squat. Stand tall, reset my feet, get ready, go! Boom, pop, pop. Stand tall. So we, as soon as we pull into that squat for our drop, we drive out of the bottom into our jump or whatever our variation of jump squat is, pull into the bottom of the squat, stand reset, reassess. So it's a really cool timing drill. It's kind of fun to play around with the change of directions, but take it to wherever you feel comfortable and that challenges you the most. After that, we're gonna break the burpee down in our burpee breakdown. So we're gonna break the burpee into three pieces. And if you don't plan on doing full burpees in the workout, I invite you to practice this burpee breakdown to start building that skill for the burpee. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get ourselves set up, feet are under the hips, I'm gonna come down with my hands and I can step or jump and I'm gonna lower down to the floor. And this is checkpoint one. 
Wrist is stacked under my elbow, shoulders are back and tight, my ribs are in, and then I go, okay, I'm good. I push to my knees, I'm still tight in my ribs, my shoulders are over my hand, I'm nice and set. Now checkpoint number three, we jump, or we step into that nice squat stance, and then we stand. Don't worry about the little hop at the end of the burpee breakdown, we're more concerned about those three checkpoints. So again, what they are, Hands, chest, we check the wrist and elbow, we check the shoulder, core. We push, check the core, check the arms, then we jump, feet are flat, boat squat stance, stand. So we break those pieces up, and you're gonna give yourself about a two second to three second pause in between each checkpoint to make sure it gives you a chance to go through that checklist. For people who are like, Pro burpeers, it also gives you a chance to kind of clean any piece of that up so you can make your burpees more efficient. After that, we have two movements. We have the classic jumping jacks, so our feet are together, hands are to the side. We're going to work on a few jumping jacks, trying to touch your hands above our body to work on that full range if you can, keeping them straight. Or you can work on that touch with the toe touch. So we're just moving those hands up, touch the toe to the side, still working on that full range with a light toe touch. So that's if you don't feel like jumping with absolutely no impact, that variation is very good because you're working on that nice activation through the shoulder, plus you're working on that little toe touch. Now, the other option is our ankle pop. So skipping without the skipping rope. My feet are under my hips, I get set with my elbows, my wrists are relaxed, and I hop. So a couple things that I'm trying to keep in here, tight core, tight glutes, relaxed shoulders and wrists, and relaxed knees and, knees and elbows, sorry, knees and ankles. We want to make sure that we're allowing the knees and the ankles to do what they do, right? They absorb and give back rebound. So they're going to take that and just give that good bounce. Now there's another variation of ankle pop that we can play with that doesn't involve jumping, but we work on that nice rebound as well. So I'm going to turn to the side. The setup is the same. I push, and I'm working on that quick kind of calf raise, working on balance, keeping my glutes tight, and I'm just pumping those feet up and down, still keeping my ankles relaxed, but I'm not actually touching my ankle or my heels down to the floor. I'm just working on that nice little balance to work on strengthening my ankles and work on position. If you find that you're walking all over the place, you know that you're like pushing forward or pushing back opposed to pushing straight up and down. So we can work on that positioning. Have some fun with that, you guys. It's a cool little drill. Enjoy it, have fun with it. You got about 20 seconds to work on those. There's no reps involved, it's just some skill work to get you guys ready, get that heart rate up. We have two rounds of this. Quick recap, we have our squat drop to jump squat for three to five, burpee breakdown for three to five, jumping jack for 20 seconds, or ankle pop, or even skip if you have access to a rope at home and then you'll take that down for two rounds. Pause the video, take that down, practice those skills. We're gonna put them to good work, or good use in the work set to come. All right, the workouts here, you guys, what we have, we have our jump squat for 40 reps. Holy cow. You can play around with whatever you'd like in that jump squat variation. So we covered the jump squat earlier in our warm-up piece, that little breakdown area. So if you wanna just do air squats, if you wanna do the non-jumping jump squat, or the full jump squat, that is totally fine with me. Do what's gonna set you up the best to have the best work set possible. If you're working on your air squat and you want a little target, no worries. Make sure you're hitting that target well, shooting for that target every single time and making sure that that positioning is solid. Now the burpee, we do have some options for. So we worked through the burpee breakdown in the work set. I'm just gonna show you two variations of the full burpee and a couple variations of our squat thrust. So the burpee, we can come down, we jump our feet back, lower, press back up, little hop at the end. The other variation is a step back. So we come down, we step, step lower, step back up, little hop. Or any variation of those two things, you can mix and match those things. Step back, jump up, jump back, step up, whatever you want to do. Our other variation is our squat thrust, which is our non-push-up variation of the burpee. So we have a couple variations of that as well. I come down, my hands stay over top, or sorry, underneath my shoulder, hop back, hop in, clap, or I come down, step, step, finish. Or again, any combination of those two things as well. 
Now with the squat thrust, there's a couple of things we want to focus on. Hand staying under the shoulder the entire time. Ribs pulled in and tight. Glutes nice and tight, nice and set through the midsection. All rocking, getting ready to go so we hit that good plank position so we can jump our feet back in or step them back in efficiently. Now, this workout is a sprinter. It's pretty quick. It doesn't take too long. There's some volume in there for sure, but we want to take that first round at a pace that we can kind of set ourselves up for success in our second round so we can really push to the finish with those burpees. Have a ton of fun with this one, you guys. Let me know how it goes. As always, ask any questions. I'm always available to answer those questions via the messenger or private text, whatever you want to, whatever you want to do and send me. Take that down, send me videos. Always looking for that stuff and it's just gonna make that training better, please do so. Ask questions, ask questions, ask questions. But, as always, work for quality, have tons of fun, let me know how you took this down, how long it took you, how gassed it made you, who knows, whatever it happens to be. Uh, support those one another's around, check in with you guys, I wanna see a lot of chatter on these, uh, on these posts so we can get to a nice little, nice little conversation going about these work sets. So enjoy, have fun, and we'll see you soon for another fun little work set. Bye, you guys.